you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe. And if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. Cool. It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. Get ready for another beautiful day today. Yes. Sunny and 79. Perfect. Gorge. Yeah, it's not even that. It's the, com- the comfortableness of the air. You're just breathing in. It feels I know. so good. I know. It's, it's incredible. So just a bit ago, we were talking about Ralph's Tavern in Worcester. Yesterday, they had a promotion going on where people showed up with Monopoly money from four to six, and they were able to get food, uh, swag from the tavern, like glassware and T-shirts and yep. stuff like that. $5 cover, Monopoly money. Monopoly money, yeah. <laughs> it's the coolest thing. Well, it was part of a campaign. They want to be on the special Monopoly edition for Worcester. Okay. There's a company that got licensing from Hasbro, the original makers of N- Monopoly, and they have created a couple of other um, editions, community editions of Monopoly. One is Greenwich, Connecticut, and the other one, not too long ago, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Aha. Uh-huh. I mean, it's so cool to see the Cambridge board, which is available on Amazon, by the way. This is not a commercial, just a fact, Jack, but it's got all these spaces on the board. It's so cool. Oh, it's, yeah. Parker <laughs> Brothers, I think, was out of Boston. I know the original Monopoly board are all real places uh, in Atlantic City. Oh, but that's cool. yeah. If you walk around a certain part of Atlantic City, all those uh, avenues and stuff are all there, right there. Wow. That was the inspiration. But man, that's so cool. Yeah. I would think, uh, yeah, it'd be awesome if uh, we would do that like locally. Have a Dover, have a Rochester, a Portsmouth. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. We were just saying how Thompson's Tavern ought to do the Monopoly money thing too. Oh yeah, and have a local Dover edition or Portsmouth edition, like you say. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what would be a Boardwalk and Park Place of like Portsmouth or Dover. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Congress Street in Portsmouth. Oh, yeah. Right? And then Central Avenue in Dover. Sure. Yeah, that would be yeah the, the big ones. Put some hotels those, up yeah, there. Yeah, those would be the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Where, the, yeah, where are all the big hotels going in uh, in Portsmouth? And then it's just it's like a real thing. There was a comedian. It's funny he because he was actually born in Atlantic City. Yeah. He goes, yes, I was uh, brought up in a very quaint, tiny greenhouse. <laughs> you know, the little plastic greenhouses oh. on the... <laughs> <laughs> the hotels, of course, oh. are the big red ones. Yeah, yeah, that's just the coolest thing. So maybe we can start a campaign or yeah. something All right. to get this Monopoly edition. I mean, they're doing Worcester, so maybe they don't want to go so close. However, they did Cambridge, Mass, yeah. and they did Worcester. They're not too, too far away. Yeah, they're just hitting uh, New England cities, you so know? come on. Yeah, so maybe we can you know, head up to the 603, people. <laughs> we got Blues Traveler and Casey and the Sunshine Band coming up on the Shark. Hello. Are your happy place, because, man, oh, man, we are each other happy place Uh, between Casey and the Sunshine Band and the train coming up with uncovering oh scams Uh, it's a potty and a good time up in here this is your safe space well I tell you why it's uh, unbelievable with these the scam situations that Amber Alert I I cannot stand this because what happens it's like uh, you know people are going to start even though you know they're they're rare, yeah. yeah. Even though they're rare, because you know the one that followed mine was over a year ago. It's it's such a great tool, I think, that to have. I love the Amber, Amber Alert idea. It's terrific when they have it. I do too. And, and but here's the story. Here's yeah. what happened. Yeah, uh, it was a scam, and uh, what happened? Of course, uh, we all lit up on uh, on Tuesday. Uh, if you got the Amber Alert on Tuesday, which everybody did. Yep, a uh, search for a woman and a four year old believed to be missing and possibly in danger. Now that came with a license plate number of a BMW. BMW they're believed to be uh, connected with. But you know what it was? It was a scam call. I uh, cannot a, believe this news is coming out. I can't believe is it. Wow. Yeah, It was a ransom uh, ransom s- scam call. You know, we have these people. You need to wire money to this. And, uh, you know, so th- there's a phone call. <laughs> what, do you, what do you try to do when this happens? You got to call the authorities. So you start trying to relay through, uh, you know, other family members to say, you know, these people are in trouble. And thus, you know, th- then the Amber Alert happens happens and come to find out they were fine it was just this scam and uh, sure enough you know without even being connected with this report nationally uh these scam calls these ransom scam calls are happening at a much higher rate than they even were a couple of years ago people are saying they're getting them almost daily and uh most people are getting them once a week so you know i know my nana got one uh just what happens is these people just read um, like sometimes they'll read obituaries and stuff <gasps> and they'll just get f- actual family, uh, you know, the, you get the family, <gasps> <laughs> it's terrible. You get family names 
And uh, you call what these you people mean? that you know they they're call, in the family. They call. <gasps> yeah. And say that, that I think, so that's what they happened say here. That the dead loved one owed the money or yeah. something? Yeah. You figure with social oh. media, too, you can just check out, you know, and know, know people and, and different oh. uh, family members, Dante cousins, whatever. Dante has a level uh. of H-E double hockey sticks for those people. Yeah. <gasps> it's awful. That so That's terrible. That, but that's, I think at the end of it, like indirectly, just, you know, when you see an Amber Alert, people, I, I don't want them to ignore it you know oh it's gonna be something <laughs> no it's such a great thing that they developed to, to warn everybody and it's so effective too because everybody's on the lookout for you know car makes and and uh, license numbers and things but well, you get out of these jerk oh, ransom wow. scam people wow messing is, it up for everyone that is that yeah. is just something yeah it's true train it's true i was talking about people that take advantage and you know lie and wow that's just a terrible story yeah but uh, I mean, yeah. I guess you know the, the the good news is that they were perfectly safe the whole time. They weren't in on it. It was just these uh, scammers, and they just got their name, their faces, and their bios yeah. from social media or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's that oh. have been it. Yep. Anyway, if it happens to my nana, it could happen to anyone. If it happens to your <laughs> nana, I mean, somebody's somebody's going down. Yeah, that's it. The train, you're going to see the train rolling through the station at a thousand miles per hour. You don't mess with Nana. <laughs> we, <laughs> the, great, the great thing with Nana is uh, her built in security devices, she can't hear anything. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey there. Sometimes it's an emergency when I'm craving lobster, especially a lobster roll. Oh, sometimes I just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> it's a little before seven o'clock, it's the Shark Morning Show. There's a new uh, development, Sarah. It's probably not that new, but you do go with it. You rock the uh, cold or the hot. That's the big thing. You get the hot or the cold. I like either one, okay. but I, I prefer the hot because, yeah. let's face it, it just has more butter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the butter infusion is at a uh, maximum oh, there. That's good. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, I really do love lobster rolls, but um, the price of lobster has been skyrocketing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in an effort to keep the cost down, on the Shark Morning Show, we give you a suggestion. Try a crab roll. Yes. Price of crab is not as expensive. I mean, it's still out there because there are guys risking their lives so that you can have a good meal. Uh, but crab is not as expensive. And it makes a delicious salad. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you do that. I love the idea of uh, just like the simple crab cakes. You think that this is some, you know, difficult thing to put together. It really isn't. It's just like breadcrumbs, crabs, and you can cook them up in a little oil and they're wonderful. Yeah, crab cakes are really good, but you can also do it for the lobster roll. Just crack that lobster. It just crack the crabs just like you would a lobster and treat it just like a lobster. And you get the same thing Yeah, on the cheap. Another thing, too, that's developed uh, just within the last couple of years, usually you'll have, like, roses and peaches and corn stands, pop-up little corn stands. There's crab stands everywhere now, yeah. you know, on the weekends, mm-hmm. Sundays, Saturdays. You'll just see these big uh, poster signs for crabs. So, yeah, anyway, there you go. You can get them through that way, too. So. In- or with Kittery Trading Post, solve the brain strain. You'll win that Kittery Trading Post gift card. We've got uh, those, those New England women, Sarah. <laughs> I'm focusing on those New England women today. Gotta love them. Can't kick them out. <laughs> Two-thirds of those New England women, well, they own over $500 worth of these that they never use. Wow. Is it shoes? No. <laughs> I figured that would be the big one, you know. Is it shoes? No. Mm -hmm. Uh, Two-thirds of New England women own over $500 worth of these, but they never use. What are we talking about? Boy, oh, boy. I've got $500 worth of, uh, is it earrings? Ah, it's not earrings. No? Not shoes, not earrings. Okay. Those are the only two clues we're going to give you right now because that's your job. Figure it out. (laughs) 877-45-SHARK. If you get the answer that we're looking for, then you win a KTP gift card. Good luck. Speaking of the women's. Yeah. I'm every woman. The uh, brain strain for today has to do with New England women. I was going to say, two-thirds of every New England woman. See? Uh, (laughs) They own $500 worth, over $500 worth of these that they never use. What are they? 877-45-SHARK. Good morning. What's your guess? Is it cosmetics? No, it's not um, cosmetics, makeup, anything like that. Nope. Nope. How about hats? Ooh, no, it's not hats. Workout videos. <laughs> no. Five hundred dollars worth? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a, lot. a lot of thigh master. Yeah, a lot of Richard Simmons. Sweating with the oldies. A lot, a lot of Jane Fonda. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Suzanne Summers, we could go on. Yeah. Uh what's your name? 
Donna. Donna, no, that's not correct. Try again, Donna. Sarah, I'm going to say Nutrisystem or Weight Watchers dinners that have been sitting in the freezer for years because they still don't eat them even though they're on the diet. <laughs> no. Not frozen food in the freezer, Ed. <laughs> exercise equipment? Nope. No, it's not exercise equipment. Is it bathing suits? Oh, no, it's not bathing suits. Oh, God, no. Mm-mm. No. No. Try again. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Is it hair products? No, it's not hair products. Fancy dresses. Ooh, oh, that's nuts. a really good guess. Yeah. I've got a lot. I've got a, you know what? That's a wicked good guess. I'm sure that I have $500 worth of fancy dresses that I right? never wear. Uh, yeah, no, that's not it. No, no. try again. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> All yeah. right, so we're, we're yeah, for the, uh, it turns out to be a toughie today. It, yeah, it's, a, it's almost a stumper here, and uh, if you turn tuned in late, it's not shoes, because there's probably people going, oh, it's got to be shoes. It's no, not, it's not yeah. shoes, it's right. not earrings. So uh, two-thirds of New England women own over $500 worth of these that they never use, and sure, it's uh, a good clue. It's, it, it is an accessory. So there's a yes. no, no earrings, nothing with the hair. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, You'll no, get it. Not, You'll get yeah, it. Okay, okay. I think I probably have five hundred dollars worth of this thing. Mm-hmm. In fact, I know I do. I'm yeah. sure I do. You know, if I if I just hawked all this stuff that people are suggesting, <laughs> I could make a lot of money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's not it. Give us uh, your best guess, and you win the KTP gift card. Any money coming up? It's going to be an ace day today. A plus day. Beautiful, sunny, gorgeous, seventy nine for a high. Woo! Let's go. Wow, we're also rocking a stumper. On the brain strain today, a very rare stumper as, uh, you know, got the KTP gift card up for grabs. Two thirds of New England women own over $500 of these. They never use them. What are they? 87745 Shark. We've had a lot of guesses, given a couple clues. What's your guess? Sir, we are going to say purses. No. no, not pocketbooks or purses. Mm-hmm. Nope. Lingerie. Oh, no. Oh, it's not, chicken. uh, yeah. <laughs> No, try again. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, thanks. How about like necklaces? Mm, nope. Nope, not necklaces. Mm-mm. How about scarves? I have like a lot of them. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah nope, that's nope. not it. Watch it. Watch yes. it. Yeah. Woo-hoo. You got it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Keegan. Keegan. Hey, Keegan. Oh, yeah, baby. Are you out of school yet? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Where are you going today? Summer camp. Woo, summer camp. Yeah. Which one? Um, The works. It's in summer's work. Oh, okay, yes. Nice. I used to go to the works. It's got a, a wicked nice pool. Is that, are you going to? Yeah. S- yeah. All right, Keegan, you hang on just for one sec, okay, honey? Uh-huh. All right, one sec. There, there we go. go. One of our elite players of the brain strain keegan <laughs> hey he gets it every when he's in he gets it it's unbelievable and uh he got that ktp gift card yeah watches you think you have over 500 dollars worth of watches that you never use? yes and i'll mm. tell you why i gotta go see doug and kelly at uh, jewelry creations because i have i've inherited my on aggie's watch oh very nice which is made of uh, it's gold Whoa. and gold has gone you know way yeah. through the should i be broadcasting this over the radio that i've got like gold in my house i don't, I don't know. know anyway um i also inherited my grandmother's watch huh? also another gold you've seen them you know those old-fashioned watches oh, that yeah, you yeah, see yeah. okay you know and they're small and they're like you know kind of See, yeah, I, I guess I've looked at them, yeah, but I was thinking of yours, and I was thinking more futuristic, you know, all the watch uh, oh, things. Oh, I have that those, got too, yeah. but the real money is where mm-hmm. the old ones are, because yeah. they're made out of gold. Yes. So, yeah. Go. But a lot of good lot of good suggestions. I mean, fancy dresses. I've got a bunch of those, too. Uh-huh. Things that you wore for special occasions or weddings or whatever, yeah. you know. I'll never get my money back, and neither will you. I mean, <laughs> truthfully. We've got Gloria Gaynor and Roxette coming up on the show. Help. Or somewhere other than America. It's Roxette. I can't even, like, talk like that anymore. I don't know what the rules are anymore. Anyway, I love that tune. It's the look on the shark. Good morning at 7.55, just before 8 o'clock. Oh. There goes my uh, alarm. Yeah, that's the shark app. That is the shark app. Yeah, it's a shark app alert asking people, do they still shake hands? It's the, it's National Handshake Day, everybody. Mm. And I uh, got, to, of course, uh, at Facebook.com slash Shark Morning Show. There's some good answers there from the people. Do you, uh, have you returned to the handshaking thing? Of course, I had a golf tournament the other day. Yeah. And What uh, happened? The I saw a friend that I worked with for 10 years. Yes. Here at DK. I was like, hey, DK. And I was so excited to see him. Oh. 
Oh. Just, just what even thinking? You just went right in yes. for it. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did the handshake. And I, oh. and I think that's, uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe for some people, everybody's different, but uh, they'll go, uh, you know, old friends that they haven't seen in a while, you just go right for the handshake. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and, and uh, all I these agree. rules be darned. But uh, we've got a couple of uh, people who stuck to the handshake throughout the entire pandemic, uh, pandemic. Mm. so uh, that's mm-hmm. been our most common r- response i like marilyn she said this may be a little off topic off topic but i hope uh, the high five never returns why <laughs> i don't I wonder know why marilyn doesn't like not, the high not five. a big fan of the high five which is kind of similar uh fred says never stop shaking hands and les says the handshake uh, right there on our shark app that alert just went through so you know just let me know are you are you sticking with a fist bump perhaps the elbow mm. there's a very uh very zen bow that people do to oh. uh, salute each other completely contact free that's kind of nice too just you know like musha art maybe yes. just you know salute each other yeah it's kind of cool that's kind of cool but, you know there's no wrong answers i'm just curious uh, you know like me are you kind of making it a very special occasion when you shake hands now yeah. A friend you haven't seen in a while, family member. You know they're friends when you're going in for the handshake. Is yeah. that it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just wonder if people will say, wow, look at that. He shook that guy's hand. That is outrageous. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, David and I were talking about this last night and how people, there are some people that are still so afraid, so afraid. We know somebody who still refuses to come back to work. Oh, yeah. Uh, refuses. And, uh, you know. I, I don't want to make anybody sick and I don't want to impose my, you know, own beliefs about this whole thing upon anyone else. Mm-hmm. But man, to not come back to work. I know. I and mean, it's just, I don't know. It's uh, the numbers yeah. are quite like, isn't, that's, isn't there that's, other stuff? Can't you also get like, I don't know, malaria sure. and smallpox triple by e. walking around triple E? Yeah. Right. You can yeah. get triple E in your own backyard. A mm-hmm. tick can get you. Yeah. Oh, right? that's a Lyme, I mean, Lyme disease with a deer tick. Sure. Aren't the yeah. chances at least equal now, uh, if well, not less, to oh, get man. the I Rona? Mean, 1.4 million New Hampshireites, you know, we get uh, 1.4 million. Granite State has got 180 active cases in 1.4 million. Yeah, it's getting to the point where, you know, come on. Yeah, it's a little, well, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've, I'm a, I'm a hugger and, um, I, I hope that it comes back for sure. Yeah. We've got, uh, Steve Miliband coming up right now. Steve Perry, A plus, A plus. From his album, Street Talk. Yes. Hey, it's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah <laughs> and A Train. A Train Trek and Celebrities. What is new in the world of celebrities? Well, train? it's all about Britney Spears. I mean, Britney Spears dominating like the first 20 minutes of Good Morning America alone. Yeah. Of course, her, uh, Sad, sadly, she said that she feels very alone and very sad uh, during her 20 minute uh, opening statement yesterday at her court case uh, concerning her conservatorship. And, Man, uh, I feel bad for her. Yeah, the more stuff you read, you know, about uh, this, it just seems uh, just, it's just sad, you yeah. know. Uh, they, I, they put her on, uh, according to her, they they put her on all sorts of uh, medications yeah. that made her feel, you know, drunk and just out of sorts, mm-hmm. uh, you know. It was not a very good thing when she wanted to quit the uh, Las Vegas residency. Apparently, that was a, a situation. Oh, but, uh, she wanted yeah. to quit and they wouldn't let her. Well, it, it was. Oh, yeah, it was geez. for I don't know. It was just it's just sad. Everything you read about that it just makes you more and more sad. Uh, Thirteen years she has not been in control of her own finances. So uh, this this. Court case will be uh, dominating the landscape of all Hollywood and beyond. Yeah, for a while I mean, now. you got to think about it. If you've ever been in a circumstance and you're really, really young, I'm talking like Britney was. Yeah. She was what, 15? Oh, on the. Uh, or she was on the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, the Mickey Club. Mouse Club. She was yeah. younger than that, much right, younger than that. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then she went on to have a recording career. I'm telling you, when you're that young and you are skyrocketed to fame like that, yep. that is not always a great life. I mean, think about all the people who have all the money in the world. Nobody's going to tell them no, you know, and mm-hmm. then their life goes down. Well, then you have the Britney situation where everybody is after her and clawing after her and her money. Oh, yeah. You know, because she's the one who made all the money. Yep. You know, her and her pigtails and her little skirt. <laughs> I well, mean. Yeah. I mean, she, oh. she was, you know, the number one uh, celebrity for you know a good oh. solid 10 years. It so. was unbelievable. Yeah. And for people to just try and get a piece of her, it's really, really sad. So the moral of this rant is if you've ever been in a circumstance where you wish that you won or say you tried out for American Idol or America's Got Talent or whatever, and you weren't chosen, see the blessing in that. Mm-hmm. See the blessing in that. There's a good side to that. 
Absolutely. You know? oh, yeah. Especially when you hear stories like this. Anyway, what else you got? Well, yeah, on the other side of things, uh, much lighter, uh, Jerry Seinfeld will star in and direct <laughs> a movie about the origin of Pop-Tarts. It's going to be called Unfrosted, and it's going to be on Netflix. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. Apparently, he oh, had a, uh, a classic yeah. routine. What is up with the pop ton? Ah. And uh, <laughs> it, uh, somehow, he's going to make a full movie about that. And supposedly, he's not going to be, this will be the first time uh, Jerry Seinfeld will not be portraying himself in the movie. So, I don't know. Why? That's dumb. I know. Everybody knows him as Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, he's going to be somebody else? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a pop tot enthusiast. I have no idea what he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, yeah. Oh. I don't know what's going on there, but it's called Unfrosted. Look for it on Netflix. All right. We've got Who Are You coming up next on the Shark Morning <laughs> Show with Sarah and A Train. It is time. Are you ready, Train? Yeah. Here we go. And now it's time for the game that's sweeping the nation. Who are you? The famous celebrities in just three clues or less. Everybody put your hands together for your two hosts and your two players, Sarah and A-Train. There we go. One name, fame. This is uh, famous people just have one name. That's all they need, one name. You say their name, you know exactly who we're talking about. Uh, this guy, I think you're going to get him pretty quick, Sarah. Okay. He is uh, a singer-songwriter, an, yeah. act, an activist, a philanthropist, venture capitalist, businessman actor and artist as well wow he does it all is yeah. it and he goes by one name yeah is it bono <laughs> <laughs> i knew it I, I mean honestly i didn't say anything did i really give much of a clue <laughs> no i didn't even say his birthday i said he was a he but yeah paul Houston is uh, bono's name <laughs> I, well, I had a kind of a fun clue okay so he was in love with his wife and he was really good friends with all his band members at the age of 16 Isn't that nice Nice. Yeah, and he's of course he's with uh, Ali Stewart, his wife. They got married in 1982. They have four kids. It's a, it's a wonderful love story. It is a love story. Yeah, he's not he's not a philanderer. Aha! He's a philanthropist, not a philanderer. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. This guy Bono. Ow! And that is one name fame. Yeah, but the category is good. Yeah. Like Jeopardy, mm -hmm. if you have that category, you instantly have to think about everything that you know about that category. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I've been all weekend. You already did share, mm -hmm. so we had share Jewel Bono. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a, a there's Ken, a few that's more. That's a Ken Jennings tip right there. You got to do is. that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, that was a, that was a, that was a fun time for me. Anyway, I got it right away. Uh, it's this girl's birthday today. This woman's birthday, I should say. Uh, you love her. I am also a fan. She was born June twenty fourth, nineteen seventy nine. Right down the road in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Is that enough of a uh, clue? No, I, I don't have the, that She's psych, the same psych, psychic vibe. Seventy nine, nineteen seventy nine. Wicked famous. And super, super famous super born in famous. Cambridge. Yeah, and let me give you another uh, clue. Many of her castmates, because she was on a sitcom, also born in Massachusetts. Many. Okay. More than one. Um... Yeah, it's not uh, it's not friends, is it? Anyone from friends? It's no, not no. friends. No. Okay. Uh, it's a, it's uh, that, yeah. Uh, she was born in Cambridge. Isn't that awful? That we we watch this pretty. show. We watch this. You and I watch this show, darn near every day. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh yes, I know who this is. It is. Uh, dun, 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 dun. uh oh, isn't that awful? I know exactly Mark who she is. Ann. Uh. No. Mork, Mork, and oh, okay, Mork. No, I no uh, Mork. I'm Mork giving you a Mork. clue. Oh, okay, sorry, Mindy Kaling. Yes, you Mindy gave me a Kaling. great clue. You gave me a great clue, and Happy I and birthday I birthday yeah. to Mindy. Yeah, she went to Dartmouth. She did. She's yeah. wicked smart. Yeah, I was I was hung yeah. up on her uh, character name in the office. Oh, yeah, Kelly. Yep, is her character name. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's so funny. I I just adore her. I love her work. I love her books. Just wicked. Yeah. So we've got uh, we've got Michael. We've got B J Thomas. Right? Wasn't he born in Massachusetts or no? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not B J Thomas. Oh, B J Thomas uh, was a rain. Yeah, I know right, who you right, mean. Right. Yeah, no, there's a lot of them. Yeah, uh, you know Jim from the Office, of course. John Krasinski. He was Newton or Canton. Yeah. There's there's a there's a number. Of Steve Michael, Steve Carell was, was uh, also, Western Mass. Yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah, Mindy. Born in Cambridge, so happy birthday. Hey, listen, happy birthday to you, too, if it's your day today. We've got Mork from Mork. <laughs>
Ace and Pace coming up. <laughs> what was your favorite part of today so far, Trey? We had an old-fashioned stumper today for the brain strain, and that's always fun whenever that happens. You just get uh, you know millions and billions of callers that just got to know the answer. Yep. Of course, uh, for those of you who may have missed it, two-thirds of New England women own uh, over $500 worth of these that they never use. It's watches. Yeah, I really did like the answer about expensive dresses. <laughs> Because, I mean, every woman that I know has dresses in their closet that they wore once Yep. to like a wedding exactly. or maybe it was a fancy anniversary party or something like that. Mm-hmm. I was just going to say, it. you know, you got a 30th anniversary party or a 50th or 25th, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Weddings. Oh, my I- favorite part of today was you just trying to think of Mindy Kaling's name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a birthday you, today. When when my brain sometimes on a Thursday it realizes how tired it is. I that was another thing too. I couldn't even think of my own thing that I say about Thursdays. And yeah, I was stumbling in the dark for Mindy Kaling. I You're could not so think of her funny. for. I was thinking of her character named Kelly, and I and then oh man, I did then I Mork Mork uh, from Ork. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny, Train. <laughs> hey, coming up, we've got the Workday Kickoff. Three hours of continuous classic hits, all commercial free. That is up next, and Billy Joel kicks it off. A shark is your-